The guiding principle for Bronx Health Reach is a community-based participatory approach. Most of the work of Bronx Health Reach is done through contracts with community organizations or community members. Schools, churches, community-based groups, healthcare organizations, advocacy organizations. Communities um, should have the right to shape their responses to the health issues that they have identified as the most dominant. Of the 62 counties that make up New York State, the Bronx has been ranked 62. 62 will not do. We can do better. We must do better. The Institute for Family Health was founded in 1984. We received federal funding so that we have the capacity to take care of anyone who needs health care, regardless of their ability to pay. We have 30 health centers in the Bronx, Manhattan, Brooklyn, Ulster, and Dutchess counties. When we looked at citywide and Bronx-wide data, we saw tremendous inequality in health outcomes between people of color and people who are white. In 1999, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention launched the REACH initiative, which stands for Racial and Ethnic Approaches to Community Health. Bronx Health REACH has inspired many churches to take the lead in encouraging the members to evidence more concern for their own personal health and well-being and the health and well-being of the others in the community also. There are a gamut of activities that have come about out of this faith-based initiative. Health Box, a program of New York's health department, is a $2 coupon that can only be redeemed at farmer's markets. It makes some of the healthiest produce in New York more affordable. Our faith-based group has done a phenomenal job in distributing the health box to their congregation members, but also to community residents. We have addressed obesity regarding uh, the young people in the community. We have been involved with the school systems in the Bronx to provide low-fat foods, less sugary beverages. We go into schools and work with them to cultivate an environment of wellness. The work we're doing with Bronx Health Reach supports health equity in several ways. We did this Bronx salad competition based on the produce from the garden we have outside the school. All the students had an opportunity to taste the Bronx salad and really understand the importance of healthy eating. Physical education is a really important part of a student's day. It's really important that they move their bodies, that they do exercise, they learn sports skills, that they run, they jump, they hop, they walk. It's about understanding our students, what they bring to the classroom, and what their needs are. Bronx Health Reach, decided we would do some outreach to bodega owners. Bodegas are ubiquitous in the Bronx. With Bronx Health Reach, we have tried to educate the store owners to offer more healthy options. We have created a comprehensive training program. We teach them how to sell more healthy options, how to make a profit of selling healthy options, how to run their business better in order for them to continue to grow on the market and to understand also how their communities are changing. We try to help them to change the habit of eating something more healthy, like fresh vegetables, fruit, the water. A huge part of getting people to eat healthier is doing the education, but also making it accessible for them.
We believe that by having access to healthy food, they can have uh, a better life. The Complete the Concourse campaign covers the whole of the Grand Concourse from 138th Street to all the way up to Mashula Parkway. We want a complete street design on the Grand Concourse and a complete street design incorporates everybody. We think about the pedestrian, you think about the cyclist, the motorist, and you think about the transit user. Each person should have their space on a street. While working with Bronx Health Reach, we were able to reach a larger audience, whether we have a rally or we have petitioning or just reaching out to the community to voice their concerns about their street safety. We know that people need to exercise. So now they're on bikes or we're encouraging them to walk without Bronx, health reach, we won't be able to get these necessities in place. We're also trying to bring some of the work that we had been doing outside of the Institute, the promotion of healthy eating inside the Institute. If your healthcare provider, your doctor, gives you a prescription for more fruits and vegetables, you're more likely to do it. A lot of patients come in now excited to tell their provider that they eat eating more fruits and um, vegetables. Working with the Bronx Health Reach was remarkable. They helped coordinate the programs that came into Mount Hope. We took a pledge not to have sugar anymore here at Mount Hope. We have infused water, which is set up every morning here at Mount Hope. When the patients come in and they don't see our water dispenser that's out in the front, they get real, like, where's the water? Why we don't have water today? If the staff models healthy behavior, then patients seeing it would also be encouraged to model it. When you invest your money in the communities, real things happen. Where we started in the Bronx with this work is different than where we are now. There are tangible things that you can see that has happened in the Bronx that would not have happened without this funding. In 99, 2000, we were focused on diabetes and heart disease, but now we look at all of the issues that impact the community's health. I just see us continuing to grow and continuing to work. The funding that will come in after people like me have, have left will mean that where the new people start, is not where we started because we have moved the ball down the line.